Now for our story. Jesse Ward awakened, turned over. The hands of the small traveling clock on her night table pointed to seven. The little clock in its dark green leather case was somewhat old and battered. It had been a present from Ben Calvert many years ago. Tucked away on the inside was the card that had come with it. So you can count the hours that I'm away from you, Ben had written. And Jesse Ward had counted. The hours had lengthened into days, months, years. Years that had changed Jesse's love into a bitter resentment. Years that had accentuated her purpose. But this morning saw the fulfillment of her wish. This was her wedding day. Jesse smiled. She knew how Ben Calvert must be feeling at this moment. No, Ben would certainly find no joy in this marriage into which he'd been forced. But that didn't disturb Jesse. All she cared about was that at last she would have the social position in Wakefield she'd always wanted. The one that by rights should have been hers long ago. Jesse threw back the covers, got up. Then... Hello? Hello, Jesse. Oh, good morning, Ben. I was just thinking about you. You were? Well, this is the day, isn't it? It looks that way. Are you excited? Well, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't use that adjective to describe my emotions. Ben, I have a suggestion to make. What's that? For this one day, well, let's make it a happy occasion. Well, I mean, if we thought back to the past, it wouldn't be so hard to pretend a little. Don't you think it'd be nicer if we forgot all this trouble and antagonism and... <laughs> Jesse, you're quite priceless. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not much good at let's pretend games. You've got what you asked for, my dear, but don't expect me to be a happy bridegroom for you, too. Well, it's rather ridiculous for you to be so morose. Life to you's always been just like a poker game. You never could stand to lose at anything. You only wouldn't take that attitude. You just... Look, Jesse, I've been trying to tell you. You've got what you're after. Now, don't try to sell me on the idea, too. All right, then. Well, what are we going to do? I said I'd leave that up to you. Have you decided? Yes. How long would it take you to pack a few things? What? Oh, just a few things for overnight. Perhaps a change of clothes. Where are we going? We're going to drive over to Stanton and get married there. Oh. And we're going to stay overnight there? How long would it take you to get ready? Mm, a couple of hours. I'll be by for you at nine. All right, then. Bye. At nine o'clock, the residents of Jesse Street were quite surprised to see Miss Ward in a new suit and hat come out of her apartment building, accompanied by Ben Calvert, carrying her overnight bag. As the pair drove off, there was much speculation. Was Jesse going on a trip? Had there been a reconciliation between her and Ben Calvert? But not one of the neighbors thought of the right answer. They were too accustomed to thinking that Jesse Ward would never be Mrs. Ben Calvert. It's going to be a lovely day, isn't it, Ben? Mm-hmm. How do you like my new outfit? That hat's a little girlish, isn't it? <laughs> I might have known you'd have to say something unpleasant. Well, you asked me, Jesse. I've always been frank with you. You don't think I'm pretty anymore, do you? I've always thought you were a very good-looking woman. Tell me something, Ben. There's no reason we shouldn't be completely honest with each other now. When did you begin to get tired of me? Jesse, you'll never believe this, but I was never more bored with you than I would be with any woman after a great many years. You know perfectly well that the reason I put an end to things between us was because of Kit's returning to Wakefield and the fact that she was getting married to a boy like Bill Mead. So let's drop that. You always end up getting hysterical when you start talking about how I got tired of you. Oh, I can assure you that I'm past the hysterical stage now. That belongs to the days when I had hopes we could always be as close as we'd been. Look, Jesse, let's skip the reminiscing. Here. All right, then, anything you say. <laughs> anything I say. Wouldn't it surprise Kit if she knew? Hmm. I guess it's what you call ironical. I lost you because of Kit, and now I'm getting you because of your daughter. I just assume you didn't discuss all the fine points of this arrangement. Yeah, but it is strange, don't you think? 
I was thinking just the other day, there's Kit out in California, alone. Her marriage breaking up, about to have a baby. She must be scared to death. Hmm. No, no, that isn't true. Kit wouldn't be scared. She's too much like you, Ben. But I imagine she's curious. And it could all have been so easily avoided. But as it is, she doesn't know what... what the child will be like. It's really a tragedy, and I... I'm genuinely sorry for her, but... the odd thing is that her tragedy means my happiness. Your happiness, Jesse. Well, at least I feel satisfied. Vindicated. Oh. But of course all this is your own doing, Ben, if you trace it back. If you hadn't deceived Bill, and if you'd told Kit the truth about her mother's people, her background, and if you hadn't been so selfish with me, so dominant... I believe, you... Jesse, I've heard you remind me of my mistakes before, so please, just let's skip it. Oh, well, being you, you couldn't have done any differently. As a matter of fact, Ben, I feel quite kindly toward you at this moment. No, Jesse, has it ever occurred to you how short-sighted you might be? Short-sighted? Yes. You're getting married. But marriage is more than just the wedding day, you know. In all likelihood, you'll be very miserable as time goes on, Jesse. You look back on this day and wonder why on earth you ever did it. I'll take that risk. <laughs> oh, really, Ben? Are you still trying to talk me out of it? No. I'm just giving you a little warning. Mm-hmm. You know, Ben, you're not acting the way I expected you to. You talk as if you've really accepted this thing. Well, Jesse, when a man loses, he loses. That's all there is to it. I've lost. Temporarily. It'd be funny, wouldn't it, if you discovered you liked being married to me? It'd be impossible. Because I'll never forget, Jesse, that you pulled a fast one on me. Tricked me. Tricked you? I certainly did not. I just used my wits, that's all. Just because I happened to learn where Kit was. Because I found out for myself why she went out. All there. right, all right, all right. But I'll never forget that you intended to use that information. To tell Wakefield. To make me a laughingstock. If I didn't make you my wife. <laughs> could you suggest a better way? A more effective method I could have used? And I'll never forget, Jesse, that you told Mary Lane. To have that woman know the story she but evolved. she doesn't. I mean, I told you what she said, that she's going to forget everything I told her. I had to show you that I wasn't bluffing, Ben, that I was no longer afraid of you. Nevertheless, Mary Lane does know the whole story. And to have her set herself up as my protector... Oh, what does it matter, Ben? Just because Mary Lane wouldn't marry you years ago. There's more to it than that. I never forget things, Jesse. Meaning me when you say that? Perhaps. Well, Ben, don't lose any sleep trying to figure out how to get even with me, because the cards I hold are still good. Ah, uh, for the time being. But when Kit's child is born, Jesse, if it's all right, then I hold the whip hand. Yes, yeah. if. In the meantime, I'm going to feel perfectly free to make any demands. And you've demanded plenty. Well... Yeah. We'll be in Stanton in a little while, and we'll be married. But only on one condition. What are you talking about? I want a wedding present from you, Jesse. Otherwise, there'll be no wedding. You can trot back to Wakefield and do all the talking you want to. What do you mean, you want a wedding present? What I want is Kit's address. I see. Why? Never mind why. Do I get it? All right, Ben, why not? It doesn't matter. Yes, I'll give you a kit to dress. After the ceremony. Jesse Ward was a little surprised at Ben Calvert's request. For many reasons, he'd rather he kept out of touch with his daughter. But still, what would it matter? By the time Kit found out how she'd tricked Ben into marriage, Jesse would be his wife. 